What's up guys, I'm here today to unbox the new starting lineup backboard. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing and review episode. Like I said, today we're gonna to be unboxing the new starting lineup of backboard. So you may remember in 1989, they actually had figures that you could buy that came with a backboard. Here, they did it a little opposite. We got the figures, you buy the backboard on its own. So um, this is, I believe, $24.99. I think it's in stock and shipping from Hasbro Pulse. I doubt that it's uh, been sold out yet. I'm not sure how many people are really interested in this. Um, is it something you're interested in? I mean, I picked it up just because I thought it would be like a cool little thing to unbox and review. Um, but just initially when I saw it, uh, I kind of had some criticisms, so we'll see. Let's unbox it, and we'll see if those uh, criticisms hold true. So it is packaged much like the figures themselves. Uh, we just have one piece of tape across here, so I'm gonna cut that, and let's just open this up. Just kind of like a shoe box. Ooh, all right, this is kind of cool here. Let's see how this comes out. And so we got the hoop and everything here. And then down below, it looks like we have the base uh, and we it does come with a set of instructions. So that could prove to be useful, we'll see. Um, let's just see what it says here. I've been building a lot of Legos lately, so hopefully, I don't know, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's seven steps. So um, let's hope, let's hope I can I can follow those. But all right, well, we'll start with, I guess the base part first and Everything packaged very securely, so it's not gonna jostle around or anything. And here we have, ooh, we got the, the lane. And this was sort of one of my criticisms. It doesn't really seem like it's, it's, it's to scale, but once we build it and put a figure on it, we'll, we'll, we'll see if that, if that holds true. Um, you know, we have sort of the, we got the protected area here, and then we got the dotted line where, you know, from the circle around the free throw line. They, they look pretty close together. Um, I, I haven't looked, uh, I mean, I was watching a game last night and I don't think they're, they're quite that close, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let them slide a, a little bit, a little bit. So, all right, part number one here. Let's go, let's see how this goes. Okay, so it looks like that snaps into place. All right, it snaps in there. That is pretty secure. That's pretty secure. Then probably probably have to open the other package here. Let's see how this goes. All right. So there's lots of cardboard. I know they are trying to go very eco-friendly, and cardboard does break down, but there is a lot of cardboard here. <laughs> I will say that. Uh, nothing in here. Okay. It is very secure, I can tell you that. And I'm not doing a very good job of getting this stuff out, but I don't really know another way. This part did not come with instructions. Okay, we got the... There's the stem. And we got the hoops. You know, one thing I did notice right away is we do have two alternate hoops, which is kind of cool because then players who are, you know, shooters like Steph and Trey and everything, or if you want your player doing a jump shot or like hanging in the air, um, you know, it's kind of like they're, it's going through the basket. You know, not all these players are known for their dunking abilities. Um, so I'm not really 100% sure where to start. So maybe we'll just start with this part. Looks like this is number three. So there is, okay. There we go. That makes sense. Okay, so everything seems to sort of snap into place. I did steps three and four there. And then we have, let's just undo all this stuff. Here's the other basket. Here's this. And so, okay, there we go. And then it looks like the basket, okay, just kind of goes on on its own. Now they're saying take this part off first and put this part on first, so we'll go ahead and do that. I don't know if it's really needed. 
like that. Okay, it does fit in pretty snug, so that's cool. And then we have, I thought this piece is very interesting. It's kind of like the stem that came with the figure itself, but you can see there's these little ridges here. And I imagine we can, when we put this on, if I put it on correctly, um, it will, you'll be able to raise and lower the player a little bit. So that's, that's kind of neat. And guess what? I'm right. Oh, and then you can also, it looks like, rotate. I'm, this is plastic, so I don't want to break it. Um, I wonder how that works. Let's see. Okay. So then this also has sort of different joint points you can turn it to. So if you want your player maybe coming at it at an angle or the side, or you just want them angled that way. So that is kind of neat that you have a little more flexibility and they're not just going to be held straight up and, and, and rigid like that. But it goes in pretty much just like the other, I think. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So it looks like once it's in, okay, that makes sense. So we have sort of this, um, what is it? I, a six-sided figure, is that a hexagon? Hexagon, hexagonal. So we do have, you'll see on the on the court, we have all these little areas where you can you can put the uh, the stem in, but it does fit in kind of on this, this little kind of like octagon um, or hectagon, I guess, pattern here. So um, you can place it sort of at, at an angle. That's, that's kind of interesting. So otherwise it would always, you know, if they did it like a normal way, it would always be straight, but you don't, sometimes you want your player going at the hoop at an angle, right? Um, then let's, let's try this. Let's take the hoop off. Looks like, okay, so the ball, that's one thing I was curious about. So we have the ball going through the hoop and it is fixed to the hoop itself. So it doesn't feel like it's gonna come out or anything like that. So it's not, it's not loose or anything. Um, and then we're gonna just put that in. So, okay, that, that works, that works. I can handle that. Uh, you know, it seems like if you're gonna have a player shooting, they're gonna be on probably this side of the court. I only say that just because the way the, the ball is angled coming out of the net. Then we have this sort of arm piece. Now I'm gonna grab a figure in a second and we'll see how exactly this, this kind of fits. They do show in the instructions here that, um, yeah, it kind of, this piece kind of goes through the, the player's wrist. So, so that's, that's kind of interesting. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> the thing is, is I don't, I don't have their, I don't have the other hands. <laughs> so maybe I won't be able to do that part. Didn't really think ahead on that one. So yeah, essentially here is the hoop. What do you think? I don't know. I thought it would be cool to have it sort of bigger. Um, I know that takes up some space, but you know, we really only get just past the free throw line. Now that's cool if you want to do somebody doing a dunk um, and everything, but as far as having, you know, someone like Steph or Trey, when they're kind of known uh, for their shots from distance, um, you know, that, that, that would have been a nice little touch. So let's go here and, you know, I guess I could have Steph shooting, what, Steph shooting a free throw. I mean, there's a couple, there's a couple of knobs here, but really they only give you a couple of options, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure I really love that. Let's see if we can show it here. Yeah, I'm not sure I really love that. Um, you know, we do have, it looks like three, three notches, one, two, three. And initially, I thought maybe that could be used to kind of put some pieces together, so that way you could extend the cord out. Maybe that's something that's coming down the road. I don't know, um, but otherwise, you know, you could have, you know. A player here doing a jump shot and then potentially be, you know, in, in front of the basket and kind of kind of blocking. I guess that's a sort of a way a way to do this. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not I mean, definitely have to, you know, figure out some different ways to position the players. But um, I'm not sure if this is exactly doing it for me. <laughs> um, I don't know, I, I really don't know what else you do. Cause if you remember from the ones in 89, they were literally just dunking and kind of hanging from the rim. So in 99, like the Larry Bird one I have, he's, he's literally like that. And I don't know if that's quite as exciting either. So um, let's see how they fit. Let's see scale wise, we got Giannis here. I mean, it kind of looks like this is, you know, sort of 10 feet to scale. I mean, I, you know, if, if he's standing here and this is the hoop, like he's probably this close to being able to just like put it in, right? 
because he's six and a half, seven inches. I think he's seven inches. And so I don't know, what is this 10 inches? I guess that's kind of how they do it. That would be interesting to, to measure. I should have had a measuring tape. Um, and then we got, you know, we got this thing here. And we have Curry. He's known for, you know, high flying, right? What do you think about that? Is that going to work? Maybe. Um, I'm gonna mess around with it, set up a couple other players and sort of sort of see what that see what that looks like. Now I could also put the ball on his hand. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do this backwards because this is not how it, it goes. But I think you probably have to take his hand off first. Slide slide this on. So let's just pretend Steph is left-handed. I don't have his other hands out right now. Let's and then He's sort of shooting like that. Okay. I should add James Harden. He's lefty. Are there any lefties, other lefties in this group? I don't know if there are. I think everyone else is right-handed. But yeah, you could have him shooting. That looks kind of strange. Or put him up in the air. Again, it's hard with a player like Steph because because these guys, I mean, they're just, they're shooting from deep, right? Like, these guys shoot from deep. And so, I mean, having a player, you wouldn't have a player, like, jumping up like this, right? And, and shooting from, from just right here. I, I just feel like that looks a little strange. Um, I, don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. Hmm. Well, I'm going to mess around with a few other configurations. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is this, is this cool? Is this a waste? Um, maybe if they come up with something to kind of like expand the footprint of this. That's something that I think definitely could be uh, improved upon and put more players on the court and everything. Um, Cause right now it just, I mean, I get it. Like, you know, a court is, is not that big, but if you put two players on here, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty congested. You know, if you got, if you, if you got Steph and, and another player, especially one of the bigger players like Giannis or Embiid or something like, like, man, that's, I mean, he could be jumping up and sort of, sort of blocking them, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Um, I, I, I would like a little more distance, I think. But uh, anyways, I, I do. I will say the build is is good. I feel like it's it's sturdy enough. I mean, I mean the the hoop does wobble a bit back and forth, but they're not really going to be hanging from the rim. Um, once it's just sitting here like this, it's level. Now we do have the three foot pegs on the court, but I feel like they're placed in weird positions. And also one isn't really enough um, because the way they're positioned, you can only put one player's foot in at a time. And that was one of my biggest criticisms actually for the, um, you know, the, the figures when they came with the base here, uh, because these pegs on the bottom, I, I just felt like the characters and the figures you know, could, could tip over too easily. Like if I bumped in my shelving system or something like that, like a player would, would fall over. So I felt like they could have made these one a little higher um, or um, and then also made them a little more snug around the player's feet or around the, the, the hole in the player's feet. So that is one criticism that I have with this. Um, you know, I can definitely see, you know, putting a player up here at kind of like the free throw line, like they're going to shoot or, you know, they're, ma they're making a move or something like that. But, you know, I, I don't know how you would also put pegs around the, the court. Um, and, and have that, you know, like, where do you position those? I'm not, I'm not really sure. So, um, you know, I, I think they made a good try. I think there's definitely improvements that, that, that could be made. Um, definitely expanding the court, uh, would be a huge step in, in my mind. Uh, but we'll see what they come up with next. All right. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it is a quick review cause I got to get out of town, but, um, I just wanted to get this out there and, you know, kind of show you guys what, what I thought and, you know, maybe this will, will help you decide if you're going to buy it or not. What do you think? You're going to do it? Are you going to, you, are you going to wait till they reduce it and have maybe an uh, NBA finals special, uh, kind of like what they did with the, uh, NBA all-star game. I don't know who's to say. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching until next time. Peace.